dragging him wouldn't work, it'll be too messy, what happens if I knock things over or leave scuff marks on the carpet? They'll be home in 10 minutes. I didn't want to kill him here. It was too soon, too risky with all the cars parked down the road. I can hear a baby faintly cry. Far too many witnesses. But you must take opportunities as they rise, right? And it was very simple. Just one plunge of the knife straight to the heart. But what I didn't account for was the blood. There is so much blood pooling on the hard kitchen floor. It's crawling its way to the living room rug, but the body. What do I do with the body? Just two weeks ago I was promised a lifetime of easy cash. 5k every month for the rest of my life, just like winning the lottery. I have never blackmailed a client before, but this guy was cheating on his millionaire wife and the opportunity was just too good to miss. My gambling debts were mounting, my clients were drying up and then one day, boom. This gold adorned woman comes in ranting on how her husband is having extramarital activities and the prenup is airtight, she just needs evidence. What can I do about it? The agreement is if he's caught cheating, he gets nothing. So, I follow, I see him, catching up, with a blonde. I take a couple of snaps, and ping, an idea. As he left, I caught up with him, offering him a way out for a deal. 5k a month, and I'll tell his wife I found nothing. He agrees, I feel like scum, but I need to stay afloat. Just me versus the world. Now, he wants to confess, I'll lose everything. He wanted to talk, I went round. Things got heated, and then, well, now there he is, on the floor, blood cooling. Seven minutes left on the clock. I find a dusty black suitcase hidden away in the closet. It zip jams so I tugged it, and it glides open. This won't be missed, it has her maiden name on it. I cram him inside, legs contorting, body flat on his back, head to the side, it's sickening. Back into the closet, the bag goes, I'll grab him on my way out. Now, for the blood. I recall something about a wet vacuum being kept in the utility room after she dropped some wine when I told her the news. I fetch it, the blood comes right up. His written confession lies on the counter, proof of my lies, proof of his affair, the end of everything. He agreed to meet me when he was supposed to be meeting his friend, so for now, I'm not the last seen person with him. That should give me enough time to get far away. The car pulls up. It's them. I relax, shoulders down. But she comes in screaming, what have you done to him? She looks up. I follow her eyeline, and there it is, the nanny cam.